Hello, everybody. I am here with a... Uh, well, first, thank you for stopping in to see what the sheep have been up to. And for being patient while I get my act together because I've been moving slow. And just, let's have some fun. I told you about Bridget in the last video, so if you want to hear that wonderful story, you can pop back there and have a watch. She's a very talented artist and seamstress, and you name it, that girl can do it. So she dyed some paper for me and sent it out. She's in Seattle, Washington area, so we're way far apart, but we like to share. So there's just happy mail. She made this cute little box. Hugs and kisses. And it's, it's so cute. And I have peeked through some of this stuff. Little felt lining. Because I couldn't wait. And she sent me some cool fabric. Which will be showing up in Lena's journal at some point here. I already snipped a piece. And check this out. She knows I love crazy quilt. Crazy quilts. Reminds me of a great grandma lamp. And she just sat down and made me this square. And it's going to be somewhere special. Maybe in a frame where I can see it all the time. If Bridget this is amazing. Look at the tiny flowers. I mean, she's just, it just floors me. Look at all those tiny stitches. Amazing. Then in the box, the sum of her collage work. And I think it's on canvas. And they're decoupaged. And I think I am going to use them for journal covers. They're beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful work. I love it. All right, I won't say that 500 times. I'll try not to. But just, I am what I am. She made me this little cute journal with fairies inside. I haven't ever really been a fairy slash with just, I don't know, I liked them, but I didn't ever really do much. But now I think I am. Um, I think she dyed all of I think she actually dyed this signature together. And I want to say, well, I don't think it was a boiled book, but it was, she put it together and then popped it in. Tea dyed, maybe? She'll have to let us know. And I love it. I must say that all the time. This book is Thaddeus of Warsaw by an author that I'm really fascinated by, Miss Jane Porter. And she wrote The Scottish Chiefs, which is another book I love. So it was printed in... It's a very old book. I'm not sure I found a date. Yes, I know I did. She wrote a letter for the front. Here we go. You can feel the... Where did I find the... Here. 1844. And she had quite a story, too. She might need a journal. And I just... The pages are scrumptious. A little fragility on the edges, but that's not a big deal. Put on some backing, or they'll probably wait till I am ready to do a journal about her, or until I get it read. The 
in the Sheet Metal Workers Manual. And her son, Phoenix, is an excellent shopper, too. He goes thrifting with her, and he brings home some... He's got an eagle eye for finding cool stuff. I think this might be a book he found. Cheap Metal Workers Manual. Oh, ooh, ooh la la. And it was from... Hmm. Oh, bless you, Charlie Bell. 1941. It's got really nice pages. And a whole bunch of technical drawings and charts and... And I will probably be sharing this. Sheet metal work and pattern drawing and drafting. Very awesome. There's that fly again. Forgot to chase him down with the fly swatter between videos. There's a few pictures in here. That doesn't look very healthy, does it? With those big windows. Wouldn't that be a fun loft now? And this cutie patootie book is in German. What a beautiful blue. That's the back. And the, the cover. I'm going to take a copy of that and scan that. One of these, I'm not sure I found the date. Hmm. But it's old enough where you can feel the text where they would have printed it. 1837, Paris. Eighteen thirty nine. Somebody marked that page. The ads in the back are so fun. I'll be doing a little translation there. She made me a little, um, I want to say it's a needle book. Again, all hand sewn, stitched. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. She fussy got an angel for me and found that in a book. And this is the cutest little bag of tickets. Some dyed tea bags. Look at that little bag. It's a little teeny, just a teeny little brown paper bag. I probably will not be able to get these back in. I'll do that later. She did some stamping. A sloth. It's a smiley sm sloth. I'm having trouble with words today. And then this is a tiny needle book. She found that cool felt somewhere and scooped it up and she shared it with me. I am very lucky girl. Some napkins. I'm going to have to definitely do some decoupaging of tags or something. And she drew butterflies on some fabric. And a color, color, and a llama. Look at the llama. Jenny, my Jenny has llamas and alpacas. And she rescues them. And she would love that. I might have to do some fun stuff here. Oh my goodness, a beautiful little 
I'm going to say perfume bottle. Look how fancy that is. I'm going to replace the little bobble that should have been there. I haven't, I am going to say that's probably 30s, 20s. That's going in my collection. Thank you, Bridget. She knows about paper dolls, that I like the paper dolls. A bingo card. So here we go. It's from 1986. Eight Aja, A-J-A, -A, and her fancy clothes. You will be seeing her. Oh, these are, are the gift bags? Yeah, I think. Well, or else it's just cool page, book, book pages. Got a bunch of stuff here. She really packed this box. Oh, here's the gift bag she was talking about. Perfect size. Look at that. For a cover. Stickers and bling. She knows me well. These are cool cards. I ran out of the ones she sent me before. So now I have a great supply again. I can't tell you this box exploded when I opened it. This is stationery. A letter set. That would be a cute little journal. My course is set for an uncharted sea. <laughs> That's me. And this is some more paper. She really sent me some awesome stuff. Carol Lell, I'm going to be sending you some of that. A few pages. There's the felt. I've never seen felt like that. Have you? And then some white. Pretty cool. I think this could be a book cover or a wrap to wrap a journal up in. Or to just wrap up Happy Mail and stuff. Dream. Check this cute little guy out. I'm not sure if those are on... Um, well, they might be on those little napkins. Maybe I'll share those too. I can open them. Very pretty. Some little bitty bits for clusters of things. She sent me cake. I do love cake. So there's all the different things that are in here. The glare's not too bad. Phoenix found me a bunch of maps and postcards. Where did the other postcards go? I'm going to try to put this stuff back in neatly. It didn't turn out neatly. I don't know how they packed that. So thank you, Phoenix. He's such a good kidlet. Probably won't appreciate me calling him a kidlet. Because he is a, a young man. So I'm guessing he wants to see what I do to these poor postcards because I have fun altering them. So now I have cool maps. Oh, check that out. Let's make every mile count. Very nice. Phoenix, thank you. This I'm almost afraid to touch, but I will. We think this came off of a hat or something vintage. And I think it opens. So I think we think it was from a hat. 
I'm not sure what I'll do for it. Well, it looks like you could slide something through there, maybe. No. Or maybe something a bride carried. It's this beautiful, beautiful color. It's kind of a barely a champagne with just a teeny little green hint, hints in it. That was an amazing find. And she sent me a whole bunch of washi tape. And I'm only going to get part of it out because, holy smokes, there's a bunch in there. I wish I remembered the name of the store that she's by. Daiso? And she goes there once in a while, and when she does, I send her some cash, and she shops for me, too. But these were gifties. And there's more, but we'll just stick with what I got out. Because who doesn't ever have enough washi? Thought bubbles, stickers. I am going to have some fun. And she took the time. Well, let's look at this stuff first, and then I will get out the last part of it. How cool is that with that little charm? This envelope has some more of the clusters she made. I don't want to tear them. And she made a little envelope, some pretty paper, some chipboard. Oh, from a birthday card. She did this. She's so talented. She can paint right. And then she sent me some of the darker pages that came out of that dye pot. And a pirate map. It's almost talk like a pirate day, guys. The sheep are practicing out there. You should hear it. You want to hear something crazy. That is craziness out there. Look at this. She went and she put stuff in all of these envelopes. Girl. I have not looked in them. And what a fun thing to get in Happy Mail, right? This is a tag with a pocket. It's like a little treasure hunt. Very, very cute. I am set with things that are ready-made by my friend, and I think it's amazing. Poor old Louise is out on the, in the yard on the back porch because she couldn't be quiet. I don't know what, oh, the clicking you hear is probably her at the back door. Oh, teeny tiny clothespins. Another envelope she made. And I see die cups. So pretty. Look at all the stuff I can use now, guys. And this is paper that I took to start that um, that swatch book for Lena's journal. I'm so afraid I'm going to tear something. How cute. Are those coffee filters that you dyed? <gasps> Mushroom. I could see using some of these as paper clips, hidden paper clips. Do 
Do do do do. I think those are stickers. <laughs> These are my mom's favorite part of Winnie the Pooh. Look at that cool button. It has a horse on it. And a popsicle. Can't go wrong with that. This is like a little treasure hunt. More popsicles. Those would be cute pockets. Hidden paper clips. A little tiny care bear. A little tiny star from a stitched stitchery thing. She must have taken apart. Or only found part of. I love how she uses the tea bags. I have a painting she did for me on a tea bag of one of my sheep. And it's framed and in my cabinet where it will not get destroyed by a certain 150 pound dog. Bridget, thank you so much. Talk about inspiration. And like I said in the other, other video, I've been treading water a little bit with inspiration stuff. So I am chock full of it now. Well, I'm chock full of something. So I hope you have a great day. I'm going to try and knock out a few more videos and I will see you then. Smooches from the sheep, everybody.